Today is June the 1st, Thursday, 2017. What a great day. Start of a new month. Start of a new opportunity for us to dive into God's Word, and saturate our soul and spirit with it. I pray you're doing that every day, that we might hide God's Word in our hearts so we'll live according to His purposes. We're in Psalm 119, 44. It says, So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. This verse links so closely to the verse we looked at yesterday, where we are talking about standing strong in the hope that we have in God. When we do stand strong in hope, we will possess God's law forever. The Bible gives us the explanation why. The why to our retaining God's law in a godless culture is due to hope. According to Romans 5.5, 5, hope makes not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which he has given to us. If we as disciples of Christ lose hope in God's law, we'll become more skeptic than the agnostic or atheist. We'll begin to live as if there is no God. This is after we had already chosen to believe. Is it any wonder that Hebrews 6, 4 through 6 states this? It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, who have shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the coming age, and who have fallen away to be brought back to repentance. To their loss, they are crucifying the Son of God all over again and subject, subjecting him to public disgrace. I want you to hear this today. The great difference to notice is that we haven't lost hope. I'm believing you haven't lost hope. I haven't lost hope. Because if we lose hope, we won't trust God's word. We won't trust his law or his governance of the universe. See, the enemy wants us to question whether or not God's word is true. Does God mean what he says? Isn't that what the serpent said to Eve in the garden? The enemy will place doubt in our mind when we see people, including those professing faith in God. When we see these people live outside the parameters God has established and nothing seemingly bad is happening to them. They seem to escape God's decree of justice when they sin. And the more, more we see this among believers, the greater our opportunity to doubt that what God says is true. But I want you to hear this. The reason why we haven't lost hope is that we know that God cannot lie and that in the end result, God's justice, his mercy, his wrath, and his love will prevail. You see, God's love, mercy, wrath, and justice are all one and the same. He can't, they can't be separated. The perfection of his attributes and character are inseparable. So we hold to our trust in his law and we retain it for our lives perpetually. That's what he's saying here in verse 44. I, I keep this law continually, perpetually, forever and forever. Our hope is maintained even while we see God delaying justice. I think there's a reason why God's delaying justice on those who are evil. Even those who, who are pretending to be Christians, but their lifestyle is saying the opposite of it. He's given every one of them an opportunity to repent. Didn't he do this with Israel over and over again? Please hear me out today because we're, we're not without hope and we're keeping the law of God perpetually. Don't get discouraged because of that. Many times people will thrust their sinful practice right in our faces, challenge us challenging us to tell them they're living contrary to God's law. It's not a time to condemn, but rather a time to share again that God is long-suffering, not willing for them to reap the eternal result of their sin, but that they come to repent before the living God and turn from their wicked ways. That's what God wants. Do you hear that today? Because that's the spirit he wants us to live in. And that's the kind of people he wants us to be on the planet. We tell them the truth, but because they're... They're sticking this in our face that they're, they're living contrary to God's will. We, we still don't lose our hope because they haven't received a punishment yet. David didn't lose hope in God's ways. The result was that he kept God's law continually. Had he not himself practiced sin and been rebuked, you and I have the record that he did. But he turned from the sin he committed, trusted God to move him forward. No wonder he marveled at God's ways. No wonder he kept the law of God continually. 
I want to ask you, have you been keeping God's law continually? Are you falling short? Call on the mercy of God. Turn from any sinful way, any sinful attitude, or sinful speech, and renew your trust in God today. Let's pray. Father, we plead for your mercy. And we don't want to lose hope. But we know sometimes, not just watching others, even those who proclaim to know you, living ungodly, causes us to doubt you mean what you say. But sometimes, because we don't believe and walk in truth, we also have doubt. But Lord, there's a hope in us that you gave us, the, the hope of God, that we will see your justice, your mercy, your wrath, your love prevail. And so help us to love your law continually and help us to do it today in Jesus' name. Amen. May God's law continually be filling you with hope. Have a blessed day.